Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection to another exciting cold flow test at negative 50 degrees Celsius. Today, we're gonna to be showing what happens when your motor starts in the cold. The cold accounts for up to 80% of the wear on a motor. So it's very important for that oil to circulate right away so the bearings don't get starved, the oil pump doesn't get starved. This right here is AMS Oil Signature Series, 100% synthetic, what we call the liquid gold on the channel. This is Tropicana, this is 10% fruit juice, and that's what like a full synthetic is. They can call a full synthetic, full synthetic at 25% synthetic or more. So there's a very big difference. This is our Pennzoil full synthetic, and uh, let's see what the difference is. Here we go. We got our temperature, negative 39, negative 37. And hey, if you're loving this video, give it a thumbs up. There's a lot of resources that go into making this content. And uh, I want you to check out the behind the scenes footage. Stay until the end. You're gonna get a lot of great information. And if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Go Climbing over mountains, scuba diving under seas, drooling on buses, just to get their hands on a quart of Amsoil Signature Series. 100% synthetic. Now that might be a little bit of exaggeration, but I tell you what, this oil right here is unbelievable. The film strength, uh, we've done oil analysis on this at 20,000 miles of Uber driving, equivalent to about 40,000 highway miles in Florida because you're at sea level, the air density is much higher, and it's much, much cooler average temperature in Florida. So I mean, this oil's proven to well beat the 25,000 miles or one year. And uh, we're going to give you the up close crack here. And this is what we refer to on the channel as the liquid gold. And uh, up to 80% of the wear on a motor occurs during the cold start. So it's very important to make sure that oil flows when it's cold out. Woo! Wow! <laughs> that gave me a rush. And now for our Penn's Oil. This is our full synthetic, 40% better performance than conventional motor oil. Now, uh, you're gonna get a kick out of performance levels. If you wanna see some really good test data, if you're into that stuff, I don't wanna push anything scientific on you, but if you love that, hit the little reverse down arrow right here in the description section. I want you to see the performance data on AMS Oil. And uh, basically, if you're on a laptop desktop, it'll say show more. If you're on a Schmott phone, you're gonna see a teeny weeny reverse down arrow. Click that sucker and you'll go down and see that. But this right here is a full synthetic and they can actually call full synthetic, full synthetic when it's 25% synthetic or more. So that's right. This right here could only be possibly 25% synthetic. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you more about that in a second with some props we have here. We're gonna give you an explanation, but enough squawking. Let's do some cracking. So there we go. Man, got oil all over my hand. <laughs> That's a shtickler. That is a shtickler. And now we're gonna go ahead and pour in, see if we can. Whoa! It's a softie, I tell you what. This sucker is a softy. So what we say on the channel, if you want your cop to run longer and stay longer, you're definitely gonna wanna subscribe to the channel. That way you can come back and watch Gob's more videos on protecting your vehicles and uh, you get a chance to see lots of entertainment, lots of lube in action, as we say on the channel. Lube to love, love to lube. And if it ain't wet, it ain't protected. If it ain't protected, it ain't wet. That's why the wetter the better. So we're putting our lube in. 
negative 50 degrees Celsius below zero. And there we are. Oh, and remember, every last Saturday of the month, we got Evens End of Month giveaway. That's where I give back to the YouTube community. I love everyone that's part of the channel, everyone that leaves a comment, that gives a thumbs up, that shares it. You're helping people, and you're getting them to get their car to run longer. But you know what else we do? We give away something that runs long and stays strong. This right here is just Snap-on. Snap-on, if you don't know, is basically the best tools in the world. And uh, what makes them such a big deal is the hardness of the metal is about a 52 on the Rockwell hardness test. Basically, they measure different components, metals, plastics, all different things at a hardness scale. So basically, diamond's about a 60, Snap-on's 52, Mac and a lot of the other tools are about 38. So that's what makes these so good is they don't bend. That's what makes it awesome. This is a three-way ratcheting piece that moves. And uh, you have lots of adjustability. We're giving this one away here coming up March 26. We do it every last Saturday of the month. So even if you don't get in this one, leave a comment within the first hour, half hour of any of the new videos to have a chance to be randomly selected. And um, also, it's always good to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll get that buzz on your phone and you'll go, oh, I can go ahead and come in and see a video. So this here is the Snap-on Vice Grips. Snap-on, uh, I was told by the dealer that I have, they bought out the plant. So now they have genuine made in the USA right here and they're making a new one. It's much upgraded, bigger tool to tighten it. And uh, amazing how tight these are, the way they come together, how square everything is, is just mind blowing the craftsmanship. I mean, there's absolutely no slop in this and the, just the way these teeth come together. But I mean, look at the play and that is almost nothing and the bite on it. And now I'm gonna squeeze this as hard as I can. My left hand's the strongest, but I wanna show you how little play there is. On the count of three, three, two, one. <sighs> I basically squeezed that 130 pounds and I got that to flex at the end here about an eighth of an inch. <laughs> so, I mean, these suckers are just amazing. So. Uh, Leave that comment down below. That's your ticket in. We'll see you Saturday at 11 a.m. Eben's giveaway. Aha, and now for a little explanation. You say motor... Tropicana. <laughs> you say, why do we have this? Well, this is what we call a decoy. This right here is basically a mirage in the desserts. Something you see, but is not there. This right here is 10% juice. And basically, if you think of those high C's or juicies, that's basically what mineral oil, synthetic blend, and full synthetic is. It's basically doggy scraps. Um, and what that does is it doesn't put a film between the metal. You get this metal on metal contact, which creates heat, friction, basically wears out your motor. And eventually you run out of oil because you burn off more oil with it. And then once your motor runs out of oil, it pretty much seizes and that's it. So that's very common here in Las Vegas uh, with it being 115 degrees out. But so this right here is kind of like what the synthetic blends are in the full synthetic. And I'm gonna show you exactly what that would look like. We got our 100% synthetic. Basically all these molecules are the same size, same shape. They don't allow carbon backbones to attach to them as easily. And they roll pretty darn easy with a lot less friction. Now, another nice thing about synthetic oil, it doesn't burn off as much, the 100% synthetic. Now, this is what we call mineral oil, these jagged shapes and rocks. They're all different, they're not the same, and basically they're just refined out of the earth, and they have a lot more surface area for carbon to stick to, which becomes sludge, and it basically thickens, you lose fuel mileage, you burn more oil, and your, your motor gets gunked up, your catalytic converters get full of all kinds of buildup, Next thing you know, you're replacing the cats. Then your car is choking. You're wasting gas money. Next thing you know, what are you gonna do? I say, I'm gonna go buy a new cop. But let's see how these roll. So they don't roll very well. So that's that. And now we're on to our carbon. Basically all these little molecules that get all clogged up. This is what it would look like under a microscope. You get all these little plaques and thickening stuff. Now this stuff here, doesn't lubricate very well. It basically sticks to everything, kind of like uh, tar. And uh, you just don't really want tar in your, mo your motor, I don't think. Um, 
But that's that. And if you have any questions on these products, go ahead and reach out to me. I'm always happy to talk. Lube, I love it. I always say in the channel, lube to love, love to lube. We got the 100% uh, synthetic liquid gold here. If you want to try that, right down here in the comment section, you'll see it. If, you, if you're on a laptop or a desktop, click show more. If you're on a smartphone, tap that reverse down arrow. It'll give you all the descriptions and how the oil is different, how it performs better, yada, yada, yada. But when you use my link, I would be your Amsoil dealer. So I do this about 60, 70 hours a week here on YouTube. And I take care of all my customers all over the US and Canada. And this is all I do full time. So I love helping. And if I can help out with your car, let me know. Go ahead and tap that right there. And uh, if you want to see more cold flow tests, check out this playlist here. If you want to see an engine flush video, which is very interesting. Check this one out. This one's a killer. And we will see you back next time right here on Synthetic Oil Protection. Cheers to protection, protection, protection.